It is my very privileged honor to be here with you today. How many of you were here yesterday morning at prayer? Raise your hand. So you heard the testimony of how we became friends, first of all, but also became brothers in Christ mean, meeting in Myanmar yesterday, yes? Well, today, I want to share you a little bit through a message the testimony of how I became a missionary. I entitle this message, well, first of all, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My wife and I, we've been married 24 years as of last Tuesday. And we have a son who's 23 years old. And he's very, very handsome. He's very good looking. And he's single too. He, he, gra he graduated from Bible school a year ago in out of Tampa, Florida. And he is now working in California as a pastor at 23 years old. And the reason that's possible is of two things. One, because of the grace and the favor of God on his life. We knew he had a call on his life before he was even born. And because he had a mother that loved him, prayed for him, spoke the word daily over his life, and would never let anything from the devil come close to him to hurt him. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. <laughs> Well, as I told you yesterday, if you saw me, I'm the biggest baby for Jesus that you'll see. So I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to cry. So you can just laugh at me all you want to, but I'm going to cry when it talks about God. But this message I want to preach to you today. Oh, man, I miss my son. <laughs> Not even Mother's Day, and I'm crying like he's my, like I'm his mama. <laughs> but this message I want to share today is one that God gave my son, that I heard my son preach, and I need everybody here to listen with your spirits and your hearts because it's going to change some of your lives today. <clears throat> The title of this message is The Fire and the Call. If any of you have notes, I would suggest you take notes on this today. If you have anything to write on it. My wife said something this morning for you, for those of you that were in the morning service. That the impression that the world has about Christians now is that you're only supposed to stand behind the pulpit and you're only supposed to be in a building on a set day to preach the gospel. But 
But if you would re remember what the Bible says, 90% of what Jesus did was never in a synagogue or in a building. It was in the public. It was in the marketplaces where the people were. Turning to your Bibles to Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4, and we're going to read verses 30 through 33. For those of you that are taking notes, write this down. God will always answer with an earthen vessel. God will always answer prayer with an earthen vessel. Acts chapter 4, verse 30 and 33. Pastor, I'm going to read the four verses and then you can just read it after. Mm -hmm. By stretching forth thy hand to heal, and that signs and wonders would be done by the man, by the name of thy holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spoke the word of God with boldness. And in the multitude of them that believed, were one, they were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that thou ought to things which possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. In verse 33, and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. <laughs> အနာယောဂညိမ်းစေခြင်းလက်တော်ကိုဆန့်တော်မှုရွေးတန်ရှင်းတော်သားတော်ယေရှုနာမတော်အာဖြင့်နာမိလက္ခဏာအံ့ပ
ဒီဆက်တုံးနေလုံလုံအသင်းတော်မှာပါဝင်တယ်ချီမန်ကိုကွယ်ခြင်းမှာပါဝင်တယ်ဟိုအမျိုးမျိုးအသင်းတော်
There's two scriptures I want to give you today uh, that talks about the impossible uh, of the call. The first one is Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 4 through 12. And the second one is 1 Samuel chapter 17. We're not going to read that one, but we are going to read Jeremiah. So write this down. The second one is 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 32 through 51. Duriachan but right now we're going to read Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 4 through 12 then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah saying before I formed you in the womb I knew and approved of you as my chosen instrument and before you were born I separated you and I set you apart consecrating you and I appointed you as a prophet to the nations then said I a Lord behold I cannot speak for I am only a youth but the Lord said to me say not I am only a youth for you shall go to all to whom I shall send you and whatever I command you to speak you shall speak be not afraid of them or their faces for I am with you to deliver you says the Lord then the Lord put forth his hand and touched Jeremiah's mouth and the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words into your mouth. See, I have this day appointed you to be the oversight of the nations and of the kingdoms to rule out and root out and pull down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. Moreover, the, Lord of, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch or a shoot of an almond tree. That is the emblem of alertness and activity blossoming in the late winter. Then said the Lord to me, You have seen well, for I am alert and active, and I hasten my word to perform it. ละเลโออชินทาวราพยาอะจนุดีมโหมะเปียวตัปปาตูเงเผิดปาอีหูชอกเลนทาวราพยากะเลอะจนุดีตูเงเผิดปาหูหูมะเปียวเนอะจินต
Who was the only one that stood up and stood up faithfully? The most unlikely person in all the land, David, was the one that had faith in God and stood up and defeated Goliath. The call will seem impossible and it will also seem inescapable. The more you draw closer to God, the more the call will burn on the inside of you to where everything that you do, everything that you think, everything that you breathe will have to do with the call. See, we have to remember that God had a purpose for your life before he called you. God had a plan for your life long before you were even born. God knew exactly how he was going to create you, where he was going to create you, and the time in life when he was going to create you. His calling that he has for you is a compliment because it means he designed you, he created you, and he has a plan that only you can accomplish in life. His calling is a compliment on your life. He is using you to answer the prayer of someone else. Do you believe in your purpose and the call that God has called upon your life? The reason I'm here today is because of you. The reason I went to Myanmar in January is because of you. Someone who grew up and raised and went to school in America and a year ago had never even heard of the country Myanmar or Burma. This time a year ago I was in Africa, even on the other side of the world, far away from here or Burma. But yet because of your prayers and your cries to God on someone, can someone help us? Can someone help our orphanage? Can someone help our, our, our school? Can someone help our church? God heard your prayers. And in a long chance of meetings, we met a pastor who had believed for 10 years in Burma to come to America. He saved up the money for 10 years to come to America to make contact with us. It was not even your pastor here. It was another pastor in another part of Burma. And in a chance afternoon, I get a call from a pastor friend of mine and says, you and your wife, you must come to my house tonight. I have someone that I want you to meet. So we go and we meet the pastor and we talked and immediately we set up a time when we already knew we were going to the Philippines last year. We set up a time for us to come to Burma. 
And not only was God speaking to us, but we have some friends of ours, the ones that sent the $5,000 for the ministry uh, last month to you. God has had Burma on their heart for 10 plus years. Oh, Looking at a map on all of the world, why of all the world did God pick your country to bo- to go be on her heart when there's all the countries in all the world because you pray? That's the importance of the call because when you do not deny the call, God will move heaven and earth to answer people's prayers, but he will always use a person to answer another person's prayer. Do you believe in your purpose and the call that God has on your life today? Turn to Malachi chapter 3. I want to read this for a lot of the people that weren't here yesterday. Malachi chapter 3. If you were here yesterday for prayer, we talked about this, but I want to read this scripture once again. Malachi chapter 3. Malachi chapter 3. You're like me, I just go to the last book of the Bible and turn left. Last book of the Old Testament and turn left. Hmm. Malachi chapter 3. Now we all know about verses, uh, chapter 3, verse 10, where it talks about bring the tithes into the storehouse, but I want to read something different to you today. Malachi chapter 3, verse 16. Malachi chapter 3, verse 16. Verse 16 and 17. Then those who fear the Lord talked often one to another, and the Lord listened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him of those who respected and worshipfully feared the Lord and who thought upon his name. And the Lord said that these people shall be mine, says the Lord. The day will come when I will publicly recognize and openly declare my children to be my jewels, my special possession, my peculiar treasure, and I will spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him faithfully. <laughs> นาทองวิจารอมุอีทาราปยากุจ้อยวิวิณานามารอกุอ้าวมีรอตูรุอภุชี้รอรวนสีเยนไหนมัตตาเลียชีทอตูรุดีงาสีนอนี่เยนไห
And God's response to his children when his heart is touched is once again where he says, My children, my special children, my peculiar treasure, I will spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him faithfully. So the first thing I talked about was the call. It's an impossible thing until the time is right, until the perfect timing in God in your life. But once that call has hit your heart, it is inescapable. There is nothing you can do to run from it. God will be patient, but he will never take the call from you. ဖျားကင်ကခေါ်တဲ့အခါမှာတခါကမဖြစ်နိုင်ဘူးလို့ခင်ရပါတယ်ဒါပေမဲ့သူရဲ့အချိန်တန်တီရဲ့ထိတော
আবে আচিং লু তি লু তি তো নিহু সিয়ান লি এ সুগালে তিন দি সৌলে চেন লু লি তোহালো কৌ সামু ইউই সে তুরো পেরো থুরো পিউলেন কেন বৌনাই ভানা গো ইয়ালে মি তৌ পিমা গা নৌ লাই লহু মই নমুই থুলু লি মিয়া সো ওসা গো ইয়া তো তু ফি থু গা গো চালেন সৈম তা নে তোহালে ই এ সুগালে গা মান সোরি কা মহিয়া তো তু দি কেন নাইনো উং খেলাই তফা গা সোরি কা কালৌ দি আনপাগু সু লোহ ই মহিয়া তো তু দি ফিয়া কে নাইনো উং খে দি হু তবাই রো রো আই নমু ই থু তু রৌ দি চালে আলো মই মতুই ওই ছেন সি দৌ লেন আবে তু দি কেটে নমু ছেন যাই মামি নি হু পিও সু চাই এ সুগালে তু রৌ চি সু আবে আমু ই আমু ই আমু গো লু মানাই তৌরোলে ফিয়াদ কেন দি খা তৈ নো আমু রোগ তানাই নো মু দি হু মই নো মু ই থা পি তি ইউ আচ্ছি নৌ দৌ দি সি দু সি কুরো নৌ দৌ লাই চাবি আভে আচু গো ইয় চাবি নি হু সৌলি রো এ সুগা ঘ আমান সৌরি কা আলৌ জৌ নো আয়ারো গু অতি পিউ পেন দো কা নাই লু দারি বউ সি দো প্লেন নো পোমা থাইন মু দো কা ঘা নৌ দৌ লাই চা দো তেনৌ দি তসে নু দো প্লেন পোমা থাইলে ই দি লু তসে নিউ গু সি চো সি চাল আচেন তুরি ঘা ই নামা চাও এ লে নিয়কু নমা মি বা তামিয়া টিউ দো তবা বাগু সুই থো তু দি আসা তিয়াদ আচু গু ইয়ুই থা আতু আমি খা গাদ ডজ নাট ফর্গেট আসিদ সৌন And to God, when you sacrifice something, that is just as much of a seed as when you sow something. He promises you in His Word, anyone and everyone who has left houses, brothers sisters mothers and fathers and houses and foreign lands for my name sake i promise you you shall receive a hundred times more in this lifetime plus your eternal salvation god does not forget a seed sown ta chao chenure di bowa ma ein The kingdom of God only requires two things to be a servant of His. Your faith and your obedience. The kingdom of God only requires God doesn't care what country you're from. God doesn't care how much money you have or don't have. God doesn't care whether you're young or old. God doesn't care what language you can speak. God doesn't even care what your history was before you came to serve him. All God requires once you become a child of his is for you to have faith and trust in him and obey and do what he tells you to do. The kingdom already has that plan in place. Your faith and obedience will activate that plan. All we have to do is put kingdom purpose first and seek first the kingdom of God. If you turn one chapter over in Matthew to chapter Matthew chapter 20 verse 26 through 28. And so 
and so shall it be among you. But whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant. Whoever desires to be first among you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came not to be waited on but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many, the price that he paid to set you and I free. Jesus did not come to this earth to be served. He came to serve the people of the earth. He came with a purpose in mind, and that was to die upon the cross, to die for our sins so that you and I could live forever in heaven. Amen. Amen. ตุตบะโกเซซาจิงอามะลาตุตบะอเสโกคันจิงอาละกองมีมีอะเตกโกซุ่นยุยลูมะโกยุ้ยจิงอาละกองจั่วลาลีผิดยุยทูนี้ต
I want to give you an example in your heart of the true love that God is talking about. Everybody close your eyes and bow your head and listen to my voice. Everybody close your eyes, bow your head. Now in your spirit or in your heart, I want you to see yourself standing at the foot of the cross looking at Jesus up on the cross. Can everybody see Jesus in their heart up on the cross? Now in your heart, I want you to see yourself walking around to the back of the cross and I want you to see the stripes that are on Jesus' back that took care of every sickness, disease, fear, sin, and grief that we could ever have. That's how much God loves you. How much do you love him? Do you love him enough to answer the call upon your life? In the eyes of God, the greatest people are the ones who serve the most for the kingdom of God. Jesus transferred his authority to the disciples after his death and the resurrection and he did it in two parts. If you, if you turn to Matthew chapter 28, you don't need to do that because we're running out of time, but you can read in the verses what I'm about to say to you now. Jesus gave the disciples the great commission. He told them what to do. This gave them the authorization to preach the gospel to the entire world. It instilled the power in them to do so. Second, they needed to be equipped to walk in this authority. They needed the promise of the Father. They received the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. This is what equipped them to fulfill the mission Jesus gave them to do. It empowered them to go into the entire world and preach the gospel. God answers prayer with an earthen vessel. And we're almost done here. The last thing I want to talk about, the third thing I want to talk about today is called the fire, the power of the Holy Ghost in the earthen vessel. If you turn to Acts chapter 1, verse 7. We're going to read verses 7 and 8 in Acts chapter 1. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times of the season which the Father hath put in his own power, but you shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost will come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. <laughs> Verses 7 and 8. 
তিনৌ আপোদৌ তাই সিনৌ উই নিদ আখা তিনৌ দি গো গো খাই ঝুরুসলেম মাসো জুরা পি শ্যামারি পি মি চি সন্তায় And then go to Acts chapter 2. We're going to read the first six verses. And when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were assembled together in one place. When suddenly there came a sound from heaven like a rushing of violent tempest blast, and it filled the whole house in which they were sitting. And they appeared to them in tongues resembling fire, which were separated and distributed, which settled on each one of them. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. ထိုသူအပေါင်းတို့ဒီတညီကျွန်တီစီဝေးဝေးနေကြ ทุกขะละขากองเกงอ้าวเดินชี้ดอชี้เลยตะมะดอลูมิ้วเดกะผิตะยากูยูเตดอยูดาลูโดดิเยรูซาเลมมิ้วไนเตนิจะตะดีท
When you have the power of the Holy Ghost, you are endued with power and anointing to answer the call upon your life. It is not your name, your ability, your education, your background, your language, your country that qualifies you for the call. But the call that God has placed upon our lives is by His grace and anointing because He loves you. For those of you that may be asking, what can God do with me? Let me give you one last example. You don't need to turn there, but just listen. If you were to go to the book of Acts of chapter 6 and look at the life of Stephen, Stephen was not even a disciple. He was chosen to take care of the women and serve at tables waiting on others. Basically, in modern day time, he was made a servant, a domestic servant, someone that like cleans hotels, that waits on tables, that does a lot of things that people just look past, they expect it to be done. That was the job that was given to Stephen. A task that was thought of as so little for the disciples for them to have to stop preaching the word and to take care of it. I know it's late, I'm almost done, but I need you to look at me and I need you to listen to this last statement with your heart. Stephen, being full of the Holy Ghost, despite the task, still worked great wonders and signs and miracles because of the grace and the power that was upon his life. It was not the title, it was not the position that made him effective, it was his faith and obedience to the call and the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Stephen, what will you allow God to do? What you allow God to do in you, He will do through you. He can only minister what you have. Little work within, little work without. Big work within, big work comes out. Only the word of God will dictate the potency and the longevity of the fire that burns in you. We don't have to strive for more of him. What we need to do is give him more of us. What is the purpose of the Holy Spirit in you today? For you to fulfill the call, you have everything that you need. You have the blood of Jesus, you have the word of God, and you have the power of the Holy Spirit. I ask for two more minutes of your time. There are many of you, both young and old, men and women, 
Despite what you're here to do in this country. That has a call in your life. Every single one of you has a call in your life. But I am looking through the Spirit of God at many of your faces here today. And God says for some of you, today is the day for you to answer the call. Many are called, but few are chosen. I am nothing but a messenger and the voice of God today. See, my son is 23 years old. And he has led over 5,000 people to the Lord one-on-one and the way my wife talked about this morning and the way that we showed you on the video. My son, on three separate occasions that I know of, has stand up in a movie theater at the end of a movie when the movie theater is completely full and he has preached the gospel to hundreds of people at a time. Knowing that people were going to curse at him, laugh at him, throw things at him, and yell at him, but yet he answered the call and he stood in faith. Many times in life, people go, ah, you're too young. You have too much to learn. You have too much to learn. But he listened to the call. He had the faith. And he was obedient to God. Too many times we're worried about what our fellow brothers and sisters and men of the world think about us. Especially someone like yourself that would have someone like me in their own country look at you and just wave you off because, oh, you're, another, you're from another country. You're uh, another foreigner in my land. I don't even understand what you're saying. But in the eyes of God, if you will have faith and be obedient to what he tells you to do, no matter where you are, no matter how old you are, no matter where in, where in the world you are, God can and will use you. But right now, I want everybody to bow their heads and close their eyes. There are some of you that I've looked in your faces and I know what God is saying to you. I don't care if you're a young mother that has left her family behind to come to America to work and you're by yourself. I don't care if you're like the two young men that were up here singing that Mother's Day song that couldn't even sing it without crying because they've left their mothers back in their homeland. I'm going to tell you right now that by the Spirit of God, there are nine people in this room that God is speaking to your hearts right now. And He's asking you, will you step forward 
Will you come front to the altar and will you answer the call? Dini piya ke ya diya thakande ma shire lu ko ya gu piyo ni de ngaye ko chingu thu mela tong piya mela a phi pi mela lu piya ke saga piyo ni de lu ko ya shire. ဒီနေ့ကြီးချင်းကိုစရာကိုပြန်အတ်တော့မယ်ခင်ဗျားတို့အထင်းမှာအနည်းဆုံးကိုးရောက်ဘုရားသခင်ရဲ့ခေါ
Lavang Sutang Kuni Bivang, Lego Sihu San Bivang. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. O Rabala Bashata Rabala Bala Bala. O Rabala Bala 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 Bala. O Raka Rabashata Rabala Vasarikitish. O Rabala Bala Bala Bala. Rodita the Mediti of Sida yet called Chingo two chin to Chisutin. The Tompian Chinigo could a count cheap it or move. Tan Shenno winning up in big thick to move. The Sekatan de Kuronan young no move. A mu mudo announced Shetty. A chin needy. So young Chong Jarari Jariani. Yay and Swanet Tretro Sekalade. It are the Mediko count cheap beaver. Tan Shenno winning up in Kuro big thick to move. Jesus gave na ro ne kuro ga pa ye to mo ba. Bong da kuro ne kuro ga luan chong no mo ba. Jesus ten ba re. Kuro na ma ro ten shan si ro ma. Ta tim liu ale ma kuro kuro na sen chua ro mo ne. Na long ta ti ti ma kuro sa ga pyo ro mo ba. Jesus ten ne. Jesus ten ne. Jesus ten ne. Ha la ba la ba sha ta la ba la. O ra ba la ba la. Jesus ten ne kuro piya. Nama Rodi Ponchi Basi Nama Rodi Ponchi Piao So Winning the Bedwani Ra Wubiene me Ide Gibiae to do it. ตมาเตียเลเบโบเวติงโกตะคินดีอลุชีเตวิญญาณาลิสุไลโอวิญญาณมิสีพวนจีไลโอวิญญาณสวาสุเตโลนิโรตนาจิงกิยุนาตะก
ตีเอาสีได้บ่ว่ากรอยะคอดาอัตถิสุติมาเลยคนอาเปบาวิญญาณเนี่ยปิ๊กติ๊กตอมบ่ว่าชုံจีชิ้นเปบากรอยะคอ